the big gap in the market for GACE was uh, to supply really high quality and really detailed data about uh, infrastructure, and particularly highways. We designed uh, a methodology where we could survey roads but look at all of the roadscape, not just the roads itself. What we're doing is we're finding the data into different information streams or layers of intelligence, and it's those layers of intelligence that has the value. Data is a raw material. Insight is what we get from that. The way that uh, connected car information fits into what we've traditionally done as a business is really augmenting the data we collect already with a different kind of data, more dynamic data, because currently we go out we take a, a very detailed forensic snapshot of the roadscape, so everything that you can see visually, um, but that doesn't give us information about how the road is being used and the dynamics of traffic and the rate at which roads are deteriorating. So taking information from cars that are using the roads day in day out is a really exciting dimension for us because we can start to get that performance data out from the information we get from cars and blend that with what we've got already. And what we're able to do with this data is to make the car more aware that there is something ahead that they need to focus on particular sensors or particular cameras or, or maybe LiDAR. We will find out m more about how we can use this data to be able to enhance the safety of those vehicles. The first step was to create trial hazardous locations and we, we created that on a map of Millbrook. What we're doing here at UTAC Millbrook is creating is risk hotspots on the highway and the pavement to broadcast those risk hotspots into vehicles to notify the drivers that they're entering a higher risk area. We've created risk hotspots by combining historic incident data on roads with the built infrastructure data, which is what we create when we do our surveys, with connected vehicle data. What we're hoping to get out of today is, is validation that those risk hotspots are of real value to the drivers, whether it be fleet drivers, private drivers, or even autonomous vehicles, in ensuring that there's knowledge of the risk ahead on the highway. As you can see on the top of the vehicle, there's a roof rack mounted camera frame. On that camera, we mount five Ladybug cameras to provide 360 degree 8K resolution imagery. And an image is taken every five meters. That data is stored on a hard drive in the vehicle, and then that's available the day later for analysis. And what we use the imagery for is to identify all defects in the highway and provide scheme design for maintenance of highways. So that was a controlled environment where we could visit those time and time again. However, we have done some real world testing in Greenwich where we've taken data that we've got from connected car data from our own forensic surveys and other data sets too, including CCTV, and we've identified those actual locations and we've used them as a real world test as well. We did have an interface inside the car so we could stream information to the driver. So we used the Vodafone Step system. What this screen visualises on the Vodafone Step platform is the location of the hazard zones. The dark orange reddish coloured are actually the zone of hazard on the highway and the yellow zone is the approaching zone for when the message is actually sent. So that as the vehicle approaches the warning zone the messages appear and then the messages disappear when you exit that particular hazard zone. And the benefit for the driver in, be, in being able to receive those kind of alerts directly into the car in whatever form, it's that insight, that foresight that we're giving the driver. So the results of the trial have been, have been better than we expected actually. The hardware and software that we needed to be able to create that linkage from the insightful data that we have and being able to get that into a car that, that's driving on a test track and indeed um, in Greenwich on the open road. And it proves that the underlying technology is robust enough now to be able to do this. We needed to have that testing to prove that it worked in a safe way to be able to then take it out in the real environment. And we couldn't have done that without the testing at UTAC Millbrook or the support of SMLL. For us, this would have taken a year, two years longer to actually be able to do had we not been part of the GAVCAM scale-up programme. We have the opportunity as a business to be the first around the world to bring the commercial service to the market. The exciting thing is that could mean that we save lives on the road network, you know, and, and that in itself, if we save one life, 
in somebody's family is really a massive driver for us.